the drama in this building is never ending. It doesn't have to do with me, but the amount of stuff that I hear on a daily basis, I'm just like, what is wrong with you people? Gosh, there's always, there's literally always something. the night because of the wind but eventually I feel like it's even to like 8 30 but the wind here is no joke you can probably see it from the choppy waves in the other videos I took but somewhere that it was 100 kilometers or kick it up to that I don't know <laughs> I am going into the town to make a return hopefully and get a few groceries for the UK trip showed the souvenir I got in Nice, but I got this little bag. I love it so much. It is so cute, and it was only six euros at the little farmer's market that we went to on Sunday. I am so happy about it. I already owned that. I just tied it on there. And I don't know if I ever showed this, but oh no. I thought it had gone missing for a second, but I got this ring when we went to Lucerne, and it is my favorite piece of jewelry that I own. It is so cool. My room is very much a mess right now. I have stuff everywhere, but I just want to finish this paper before I do anything else. Tonight, we spent $700 on mostly accommodations and travel in the UK. We have not yet booked our excursions and there's still food. So I think it's safe to say that I will not be eating on this trip. All 10 days, in this bag. Our 10 day trip started with two train rides to the Malpensa airport in Milan, and then we got on EasyJet, which our tickets were only like $60, so that was amazing. And we had a two hour flight to the Gatwick airport in London. Our first impressions of London were incredible. It was so beautiful at night and we had about a 30 minute walk from the train station to our hostel. Okay, if you've never seen Harry Potter or you don't like it, these next like three minutes are gonna be really brutal for you because I pretty much just filmed everything I saw at the Harry Potter studios and I apologize but it was so amazing for me because I grew up a diehard fan of the Harry Potter books and ultimately the movies. So this was just kind of like a dream come true for me to see all the sets and all of the costumes and all of the props. This was just amazing. So. I'm sorry if you don't know anything about Harry Potter, but you can enjoy my cinematography. I think it's pretty good.
congrats, you made it through Harry Potter World. So after that, we took an Uber back into the city and we got some delicious burgers and walked around the shopping area. Little kids like his children's hood. My friends all went to go see Mamma Mia, so I didn't want to do that. And I decided to go shopping by myself and I'm gonna to try to take the tube or walk back by myself. We'll see. Here I am successfully mastering the tube. The next morning we got up around 6.30 to go catch a tour bus at 8 but luckily there was a very pretty sunrise. The first stop on the tour was to Windsor Castle. Unfortunately, the Queen was not in, but the building was still very beautiful. We could not film on the inside, which was kind of a bummer, but I did get some nice little shots of the outside. It was very pretty, and I kind of wish we would have had more time here. We also watched a changing of the guard, and that was very interesting, but one of my favorite parts of the day. After Windsor Castle, our next stop was in Stonehenge, and our Uber driver from the day before talked a lot of crap about it and said it wasn't worth it, but I actually kind of enjoyed it. It was cool, but I wish I could have walked amongst the rocks. There are also a lot of really cute sheep, and that definitely amped up the experience. Our final stop of the day was in Bath, and this was a really cute city. I really, really liked it, and again, I wish we would have had more time here, but we just got to walk around the city a bit, explore, and we also did a tour of the Roman baths. I was under the impression that I'd be able to get in some baths in Bath, but it turns out if I had, in fact, jumped in the pool that we toured, I probably would have died. So glad I didn't do that, but I was really disappointed that I didn't get to get in any baths because I even brought my bathing suit. Our next day in London was kind of our touristy day. We started off with a traditional British breakfast. It was by far the best breakfast of the trip. It was incredible, and this coffee was very good too. And then after breakfast, we ventured over to the very touristy part of London. We saw Big Ben, which I thought was incredible, and I wish there was not construction being done on it. And then we saw Buckingham Palace, which was underwhelming in my opinion. Um, and then we saw like a cavalry museum, and we saw the London Eye, just all the things.
We ended the day by going to a fish and chips restaurant. I did not get the fish. I got fried cheese and it was delicious. I should. Oh. I used to have but so this was our last day in London. We only had a half day, so I started off by going on a run across Tower Bridge and then along the River Thames, and it was so beautiful. I wish I could have this view when I run every day. After my run and after everyone got ready for the day, we went and got breakfast at a place called Grounded, and then we actually came back to Tower Bridge because it was only like seven or eight minutes from our hostel and not everyone had seen it yet. So we walked across it just for fun, and that was kind of our last little hurrah of the trip. Um, you can also see our hostel here. It was the Wombats Hostel in London. Absolutely amazing. Would stay again.